couple of days. Come desert sandstorms or stampedes, British adventurer Levison Wood was determined to walk almost 7,000 kilometers along the Nile River. I've studied this river for over 10 years and I've always wanted to travel along its entire length and I thought what better way to do it than by walking. So it's taken me nine months to get here so far um, with one week left. The Nile is the longest river in the world. It runs through 10 African countries and takes up 10% of the continent's land area. It's a lifeline for many. It's used for fishing and to support wildlife. Water from the Nile is drunk by millions. Wood's expedition along the Nile was the first of its kind. He started off in Uganda in 2013, where he was welcomed and treated like a local. Despite the warm response he's received, it hasn't all been smooth trekking. There's been so many challenges from the physical. I mean, it's obviously very hot walking across the entire Sahara Desert in the summer was definitely probably the hardest challenge. When he got to South Sudan, the country was in the midst of a civil war. More than 20,000 people had been displaced since fighting began in December 2013. He was caught in the fight while walking in the town of Bor. The violence forced him to stop the walk. He missed out on just over 700 kilometers of the legendary river. Passing through places where, like uh, South Sudan with civil war, um, and also the bureaucracy and the politics is all, you know, lots of different challenges along the way. Uh, but I'm fine. I'm glad to finally have made it to Cairo. Wood's ambitious year-long challenge ended in early September when he was met by his parents in Egypt.